Hey folks, Jay here with Traverse PC Customer Experience. We're getting ready for our next release, TPC 23.1. It's faster than ever and chock full of time-saving features. We're excited for you to experience the new TPC, so why not show you a little preview now? First up, calibrations and our calibrate survey feature. Take a look. Now you can calibrate an entire survey from local to the CRS used by the project or your GPS GNSS equipment. In the dialog shown here, the entire survey is being calibrated, including raw data and drawings. The reverse calibration can be selected to reverse the direction of the calibration, making it easy to calibrate a local survey to GNSS. Like Kogo, calibrations are typical in workflows these days. We've worked hard to make them easier to use, like selecting from a list of calibrations already used by the survey. Let's check out our select survey calibrations. In the dialog shown here, you can use the Select a Calibration list to pick a calibration you've already used for this survey. The calibration information provides information about the calibration selected in the list, helping you choose the right calibration for the project. And you can always browse to load a new calibration into the survey. Makes sense, right? Now, are you ready to see some of these calibrations features in action? Here's John with a workflow. In this video, let's take a quick look at a common workflow where we want to calibrate a local survey to our GNSS equipment. So I've got a survey here at 5,000, 5,000, and I've got a foundation I want to stake out here. Now I'm going to go out with my GPS or GNSS equipment, and I'm going to tie some of these monuments for the boundary at one, two, three, on around, and then I'm going to calibrate this local 5,000, 5,000 to whatever coordinate system I'm using on my GNSS. Now I've got these foundation points that I can export out to my GNSS equipment and stake them out in whatever the coordinate system is. Let's take a look at the workflow that we use to do this. I'm going to import the GNSS ties that I did out in the field, and I did that with an MLID. Let's browse to that. And let's just take a look at what this data looks like real quick. So you can just see. And I've opened this in Notepad and turned off WordWrap. So I uh, collected 0.1 there, and I put equals 0.1 PK Northeast in the description. But I just added 100 to it. So 0.101 was my GPS point. I could have said GPS 1. In this case, I just said 101. I did the same thing for 2, 5, 3, and this point 1006. So that's how I collected the data. Let's bring that in now. And I brought in those five points and put those in a traverse. And I have all the information here to tell me what I brought in, what the uh, geodetic position was and the coordinates that got computed, this case at state plane. And here's that traverse that I just brought in. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to open this up with GPS. Let's do 3D. And that'll work just fine. So here's that traverse. Now remember I said that we put the original 5,000, 5,000 points in the description equals 1, 2, 5, 3, 1,006. And here are our GPS points. Now, I'm going to create a calibration for that. And this is what, what makes this all work so well. I'm going to tell it, select a traverse of uncalibrated points with calibrated points as, and I used an equal sign and put them in the description. And I'm going to select that traverse. But I want to reverse it because I want the uncalibrated points as side shots, because I want to take this 5,000, 5,000 survey, points 1, 2, 5, 3, and 1,006, and I want to calibrate that to my GNSS coordinate reference system. So I just simply say reverse. When I choose OK, Traverse PC creates this calibration for me, and I've got exactly what I want. I've got the rotation I expect, I've got the scaling I expect, and then I've got this huge translation that I expect. Um, and this is how I'm going to calibrate this entire 5,000, 5,000 survey 
up to my GNSS coordinate system, and now I'm free to work back and forth with uh, any of the uh, data, like these uh, stakeout points for the uh, foundation. That wraps up our time on calibrations. We look forward to showing you more features of TPC 23.1 very soon.